A spectacular day in Shreveport, Louisiana for the 30th Independence Bowl, the largest annual event in this city and an attractive matchup this year as the South Carolina Gamecocks at seven and four take on the Missouri Tigers. They come to Shreveport with a record of six and five. South Carolina won the toss. They'll receive the opening kickoff from Adam Crossett who drives it down into the end zone and Carlos Thomas takes a knee about two yards deep. Moore is in today for Jason Simpson, who's disciplined and suspended for this game. He was a four-year starter. Here's Davis on the run out near midfield. William. For the season, South Carolina averages 91 yards per game rushing. That's 111th in the nation. But that went up to 143 per game in the last two games of the year against Florida and Clemson. There's Sidney Rice with his first catch. Another quality. Antonio Hefter is a good runner. And he keeps it on the quarterback run and gets the first down. Inside the 20 starter last year when Lou Holtz was the coach. They've done a lot of work to try to make him a good drop back passer, and he's become one. He's on target there for a touchdown to Sidney Rice. 23 yards. Singles. William Moore at safety, so I don't think they played that very well. The only loss was in the regular season finale to Clemson when they were first on the board. Inside hand off the temple, and he fumbled. Still free, and it looks like the Gamecocks have it at the 19 yard line. Defense of Gary Pinkle said got better as the year went along. They brought back only three starters from last year. Good throw by Mitchell down the hash marks, and it's Sidney Rice again who got walloped after making the catch at the five. He's Gordon. First and goal for the Gamecocks. Davis lunging for the end zone. Touchdown. Following the block of Dacus Turman, the fullback, a five yard touchdown run. Fourth touchdown of the season for the true freshman Davis. Josh Brown adds the extra point. Playing in their final game. Fourth bowl game for Missouri since 1983. It has not been a memorable trip so far. Mike Davis rumbles into Tiger territory to the 45. The ground game that came around at the end of the regular season for South Carolina continues productive here in the bowl game. Mitchell back to the pass and it's complete to Sidney Rice a diving catch at the 28 yard line. Wallace the first recruit signed by Steve Spurrier and he took over. And he finds a big hole and perhaps another first down. Basketball player in high school. Thought about playing both sports in college but a knee injury last year. Took him out of that thought process. It's dumped off to the tight end Carson Askins. For another South Carolina touchdown. And a late flag thrown after the score in the end zone. Second and ten. Mitchell in a crowd throws, and it is intercepted by Marcus King and has some blockers along the far sideline. Late Mitchell trying to get back in position to get him. He can't. Neither can Bobby Wallace. It's a touchdown and perhaps a game changer for Missouri. 98 yards on the return by Marcus King. Ball for a TD. Adam Cross it for the extra point. And it is good. Marcus King Davis. Seven and less than a yard. Davis very near 100 with that run. He goes to the 46 of Missouri in a first. Mitchell. Turn for a touchdown by Mizzou. Tiger show blitz. And they bring it. It's picked up. And Mitchell throws. Has his man Sidney Rice at the 29 yard line. Spun down right there by into that 15 mile per hour breeze here in the second quarter. And open, it's Rice inside the 10, inside the 5, and down to the 2-yard line. David Overstreet made the tackle. And 
Mike Davis battling to the end zone. No signal yet. Carolina fans think he was in the end zone. It looked like it from here. Where the officials have not given any indication. It looked like he was well in the end zone from here. Did he ever get tackled? I mean, you know, at some point. Touchdown. He got the job. Josh Brown sneaks in the extra point. That's football encyclopedia. It used to be just a hernia. Do you notice that lately it's become a sports hernia? <laughs> what is a non sports hernia and what's the difference? I don't see who's playing. There's T. Rucker, the tight end. He was a freshman All American last May, excellent student. Degree in business administration, working toward a master's in economics. He throws to the far sideline, caught for a first down, and Tommy Saunders alertly went out of bounds. And 38 seconds in the half. Down 28 to 7. South Carolina rushed four that time, didn't get anywhere near Smith. The pass is caught. Will Franklin breaks free. And he's out of bounds near the five yard line. Coach said he needs William Franklin to have a big game. Smith throws it up for Kaufman. Touchdown, Chase Kaufman. He's six seven. They took advantage of the size advantage over the 5'11. Jonathan Joseph, a five. His dad played at Kansas State. Frosted adds the extra point. From the 23. Second and seven. And Smith dumps it off to Rucker, the tight end. First down and much more out across the 40 yard line to the 43, where the linebacker looks like a better throw. Tony Temple handed it off. Well, Gary Pinkle said that. He said, you know, right there. Yeah. And Ag got him twice. They're going for him fourth and one, and Daniel gets the first down. Clearly nowhere near the runner that threw with rhythm, didn't he? Yeah. Planted that yeah. back yeah. foot and got through. rid of the football. There's Temple. Tackled by Cole Simpson, but it looks like a first down. And let him know I'm still here. And it's Wally the big hit with Tremaine Tyler there as well. And third down, they get some of the yardage on the 13 out of 18 for the year and it's a fake they pitch it to Rucker T Rucker down to the one yard line Brad Equerequeru is the holder backup wide receiver has to get their ball carrier across the line of scrimmage 18th play of the drive they had trouble on the handoff, and Temple is swung down by Chris Tucker. It's one of the times when I really a 22-yard try. They do make it a nine-yard shorter field goal, and he missed it. Wide right. Eight-minute drive yields. Third down and one from their own 24. He's open deep. Smith has the man open deep. Took a long time to get it to Chase Kaufman. Cole Simpson had time to recover, but it's a big game. Can get down there. We've got to keep doing the same thing. Get down there this time. Just capitalize. Okureku with the catch. Rucker is really like this offense. And tight end. <laughs> Not really all that near. Although apparently they do have a program. Smith runs out of bounds. He went on a trip to the bus. Yes. The Missouri graduate. Missouri graduate. John Walsh. I call. <laughs> Here's Brad Smith, a Missouri graduate, into the end zone for a touchdown. Thirty-one yards for the score. They're back with a touchdown after trailing by 21 earlier today. Adding to his Missouri touchdown record, now cross it moments after the shank. That's a little duck hook through. Missouri did in the first half, isn't it? Smith under duress. Runs away to the right and throws on the run. Caught by Will Franklin. First down, Missouri. 
Inside the Missouri, and he told Gary Pinkle, he said, you have something special, and Gary Pinkle said, I know that, but he said, no, I mean, you have something special. Chase Kaufman, the catch. Brandon Isaac, the tail from here, but first, the third down and 21. Smith with time over the middle. It is caught by T. Rucker. He gets walloped and bounces off the hip. Did not get the first down at the five-yard line. The goal and the extra point was a duck hook, too, but got through, so they're going for it in fourth and two. And they tie the game if they can kick the extra point. Brad Smith in from the four-yard line. Missouri twice down by 21, an extra point away now from a tie ball game. It all Missouri cross it with his pulse racing undoubtedly. Right down the middle that time. Short game. Another shotgun again. As usual, Smith throws. Nice catch near the 30-yard line. Chase Kaufman. Cole Simpson try, but I, I believe that Cross it right now in their mind, he may not be the guy they want to go to. Smith locks it up for Kaufman. He couldn't catch it. Excellent coverage on the play by Brandon Isaac, a reserve defensive player in high school, all metro in the Kansas City area. In the football late. He got a good foot into that one, and it is good from 50 yards. Longest of his career for the sophomore. Cross it. And Missouri lead. <laughs> Mike Davis again. Wrapped up by Marcus Bacon. Within 14. And the Tigers have dominated the second half. Third and seven. Five man rush for Missouri. Mitchell lofts it up incomplete. Looking for Kenny McKinley. And Tennessee with under three minutes to go. Four out of 13 on fourth down this year, the game cops. Five man rush again. Mitchell sets and throws, and what a catch for a first down. <laughs> Sidney Rice with Marcus King draped all over. Three. They twice trailed by 21. Mitchell takes off. He won't get there. He's buried at the 12 yard line. Ziggy Hood made the tackle but they did get last 21 it's a 30 yard try Ike Crowfoot is the holder perfect hold and the kick is up and good well, Ike Crowfoot missed the last game with a all right thank you Brad it's Brad Smith through the traffic Jonathan Joseph trying to run him down and he does get him out of bounds in up to 135 rushing on just 15 carries. Boys to take the lead again are the Tigers. Temple banged out of bounds by Fred Bennett near another the receiver spread the formation. Trap, no linebacker. That's what Smith saw. He nearly saw the end zone bounce down at the one yard line. Under three minutes to go. Marvin said that clock went down. That was part of the instruction from the sideline. Smith to the end zone. No signal yet. Touchdown. He's in. Touchdown. Cross it to give them a seven point lead, their largest of the game. It is good with two thirds. Mitchell on the gun. Four man rush. He throws. It is intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Terrell. Smith on third down. Got out to the 48, about three yards short of the first down. But Steve Spurrier and the Gamecocks cannot stop it. And Missouri does not have to snap it again. Well, whoever would have imagined that ending with the 
nice bucket bath for Gary Pinkle when it was 21 nothing and South Carolina was on the move and dominating in effort. They'll be celebrating in Columbia, Missouri tonight. And sad in Columbia, South Carolina. Final score, the Tigers 38, the Gamecocks 31.